What is up everybody, 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video, and today we are talking Bowman Chrome U. We're going to talk about what this release got right, and why it matters to the hobby, and what I hope manufacturers can learn from it, because this set really blew me away, and I didn't expect it to blow me away. We're talking about a set driven by sticker autos here. But nonetheless, I was a sucker for it. Let's get into why this set was something that mattered to me, and let's see if it matters to you. So, Bowman Chrome U dropped last week, maybe last Wednesday, I think? I don't know. Got into a couple case breaks, though, which is where this stuff came from. That is from an old break from 2022 Bowman Chrome, entered by accident. Thought it was 23, it was not. But, let's take a look at the cards. We are talking about nice chromium stock Bowman looking cards. And they've they got that U that's embossed, but it says Bowman U down here. But this is just a nice looking set. Like, looks like classic Bowman. I, I enjoy the little touches, like the class, the up close, the fun facts. Like, I really enjoy that stuff. And these cards are on a nice stock minimal quality control issues you see the refractor there on that audric estimate i bought notre dame in a couple cases being my squad but you get some nice base i mean i don't know if anyone can relate it looks almost like the 2017 tops chrome for like soccer where i mean it's, it looks like the player is just like jumping off the card super cool release you're getting also multiple numbered cards per box and while there are some parallels like those pink diamonds per there might be a purple diamonds or an aqua that are additional parallels it's kind of hearkening me back to the days of old tops chrome where there were less parallels i mean granted you got your gold shimmers a gold lava is in there an orange shimmer nonetheless relatively small amounts of parallels and the parallels look good the Sam Hartman purple looks awesome. Out three ninety nine, and you get a lot of inserts per box too. The care that was put into these inserts, I think these look so cool. Retro. This one's Aqua out of one fifty. The care that's been put in these inserts matters to me, and the price point for this box is affordable. Talking, I think it retailed for 100 bucks, maybe it's 125 bucks now. Two autos, multiple numbered cards per box. If you dig college, this is a way to actually open sports cards and open a nice set without breaking the bank. You're opening a set with two autos in it, multiple numbered cards, and it doesn't look like junk. For example, Bowman Inception is not an appealing set to me. The designs are off the wall, there's, there's minimal brand continuity. It just looks like kind of a random card with the sticker auto slapped on it. These, these look like good cards. I mean, they just look, they just look so clean. And I got to show you guys the big pulls. So first up, Sam Hartman Refractor Auto. Believe it or not, that's one of his better autos. I am not huge on sticker autos in the slightest. You guys know that from my channel, but... We have to consider the big factor here. This set is a collegiate release that came out at the peak of college football season. That does not happen these days, guys. Football cards, you're lucky if football cards of this year's rookies if the big sets are released by the time the season ends. I, w I would say you're lucky if Prism releases by the time the football season's over. We're talking about getting what I would consider a premier flagship release in the middle of the season and you've got the added wrinkle of getting guys before they're drafted it may, gives it that feel of what it used to be like getting nfl license cards by week one by week four you know getting to enjoy the thrill of collecting while you're watching your favorite athletes perform on the field in their rookie year in their second year something like that we also got this orange shimmer Audric Estime, which is quite nice. Very excited. Parallels look so good. 
L25. 19 L25. But yeah, the parallels look awesome. And I, I just can't underscore enough that these cards are cool to me, right? They're cool to me because I'm a college collector. They're cool to me because I can get cards of guys in Notre Dame uniforms in the middle of the season before they're drafted while they're still playing on my team. That is inherently very cool and very fun for me. And also, I can look past the sticker autos because of that. The fact that I'm getting a timely set to enjoy, I'm surprised by how much it's outweighed everything else for me. It's done it by quite a bit. I can look past a sticker auto if I can get a licensed release in the middle of the season when it's the most fun to collect. It's pretty wild. Also, guys, prices on this stuff are not insane on secondary market. Like, relatively cheap for singles on the secondary market, even for big names. So, I'm trying to get all the greens of Estime and Hartman, and then Joe Alt. Uh, let's see if I can find Joe Alt here. And Joe Alt, left tackle. But yeah, happy collecting. And just wanted to get a video about the timeliness and the design quality and just enjoying such a premium flagship set that's just well done in the middle of the season one just spread some i don't know a shout out for a good set and i hope you all enjoyed drop your thoughts on bowman chrome you in the comments always interested to talk about it and i'll catch you all next time see ya